Hi there, this is Sheree from Sheree'sCraftGirls.com, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. Today my project is this rather beautiful vellum topped uh, box. Nice size inside, can fit lots of treats or lotions in there. And what you will need for that is two pieces of cardstock. You could use DSP, that's entirely up to you. Um, one measures 6 inches by 6 inches and the other one measures 5 and 15 sixteenths uh, by 5 and 15 sixteenths six, 5 and 15 sixteenths of an inch. Don't worry about taking the measurements down, they will be on my blog. I'll put a link below. Now it doesn't matter which one you take first, either the lid or the base, because the measurements for scoring are exactly the same. So taking your scoring tool, put um, either one, base or, or the lid, and score at one and a half inches all on all four sides. There we go. And the same on the other piece of cardstock, one and a half inches. Oops, slipped on all four sides. Oh goodness me. There we go. That's lovely. Popping your scoring tool away. We are then just going to fold and burnish our score lines. And the same on the other one. There we are. And taking our scissors and making sure you have the smaller that is just, I don't know if you can see it, just a fraction, one sixteenth of an inch smaller. Taking the smaller of the two, you are then just going to Leaving the rectangles, you are just going to cut up the score line and notch the same at the other end. Cut up the score line and notch. Just makes it easy for folding when, when you fold the flaps in. Turn it round and do the opposite side the score line and notch and the same there. Oops, cut that a little bit neater on the uh, score line, notch and notch. Then taking some fast views, some snail, whichever you prefer, sticky tape, just run it along those four corners. Uh, you can use Tombow, which is probably what I would use if I was not filming. Construct your box, making sure that all your corners are nicely aligned. And now, there you are. There's the base of your box. Beautiful. And do exactly the same for your lid. So taking your squares up the score line and notch either side and again. So the box, the, the box lid is made exactly the same way as the box base. Notch. There we go. Now before we continue, I'm going to take um, some vellum. Now this is from the Bo Botanical Gardens Designers Vellum Stack. I received this free on one of their promotional videos 
uh, catalogues that we had um, in the summer and it's full of just different designs in vellum. Now all you want to do is take one of those vellum sheets, cut it in half so you have a three by six inch sheet of vellum and then pop in some sticky strip on the edge of your box either end whoops oh gosh can't get it on the end you must make it nice and neat okay removing the backing Just simply going to align your vellum at the end of your section and bring it straight the way across to the end and there is your vellum panel panel and then just simply do what you did before sticky strip snail um, wet glue views, whichever adhesive you prefer and then construct as you did for the base, construct your lid. There we go. There is your vellum lid for your box. Isn't that lovely? And now just to make um, some few little flowers and the label. And for the label I use Petite's Petal and Punch and take a corresponding cardstock. I'm just going to cut out three little petals and from your other piece of just take another three corresponding petals and I'm also going to use the duet banner punch which is new in the new catalogue which comes live on the 1st of June so cutting one of those out I'm going to use the top one there we go and I'm going to use that in the corresponding cardstock as well. There we go. There we are. Whoops. So we have two banners and six little flowers. And using our foam pad, I'm just going to pop the flat up flowers all on there. And I'll put the banner on there so I don't lose it. And to stamp on the vellum, I'm going to use, gosh, where, there it is, I'm going to use, which one am I using? Happy Birthday from the Teeny Tiny Sentiments and I'm using Calypso Coral uh, ink pad. So stamping up your stamp, making sure it's well covered. Just popping that on the centre of my banner. There. Pop it on there, you might be able to, might be able to see it better. And there it says happy birthday. Popping that aside, we are then going to take some glue dots and pop a glue dot in the centre of each of our little vellum flowers. Pop that slightly offset to the colour uh, card stroke. Do that on all three. And also on each end, I'm hoping that's dry now, 
on each end of our label, our little banner. Oh, I've smudged it. I'm sorry. I'll have to redo that, won't I? But you pop that on there. But I'm going to have to redo that one because it's smudged. It hadn't quite dried. So you pop that onto your banner. And with your um, poker tool, take in your three little flowers and push in the centre to give it some definition. Okay. And then I'm going to put a rhinestone in each of those. Just to give it a little bit of bling. How's that? Goodness. And what I would do if I hadn't smudged it, I would put a rhinestone on either side of this. where I put the little glue dot so that hides hides the glue dot so you can't see it. Taking our box and some more glue dots on our flowers. Just arrange those in the corner. I think that would look pretty. Overlapping slightly. So, and then some dimensionals for the back of your, your tag. And there you have your beautiful, beautiful lidded Oh, I beg your pardon. What I did do, just to make things a little bit easier for opening, I forgot, I'm sorry. Just at the side, get a three quarter inch circle punch, halfway, making sure it's nice and even, and pop out. Two little thumb holes. On the side, so it just makes for ease of opening. So there we have a cute little kit of box with a vellum top, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Until next time, take care. Bye.